This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. Ah, oh, you ate that knife. Oh my god, somebody's hit something and I don't know what it is. It's more tickle fingers! No, it's Storm Trance. I mean, it's fits a habit. Okay, you're awake, sir. You're awake. Uh, exactly, raiding with the ticker fingers. But yeah, like funerals, I don't. Honestly, when I die, I want one or two things. Either just cremate me and throw my ashes in the Savannah River and then do whatever you want. Um, or throw a party. I actually would rather people throw a goddamn party for, for my pastor. Get drunk. Do what I would do. What I like to do. Get drunk. Be silly. Be sarcastic and an asshole. Like if you think I was an asshole, say I'm a fucking asshole. Be like, God damn it, Michael. You weren't shit. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want the whole like somber thing because I hate. I think that's why I hate funerals so much, because I hate seeing people. One, I hate seeing people in genuine pain, but what I hate the most is I hate seeing all the people who really don't give a fuck being around. Like I could say truthfully, my mom's funeral is the only funeral I can think of. Where there were people who were generally, well, I felt like the majority of the people there generally missed her and generally cared about her. My dad's funeral, it's just a bunch of people coming there to get drunk and eat food. You know, your third, fourth cousins that you don't know from Adam. Talking about, yeah, I remember you when you were a baby. No, you don't. Because I haven't seen you since I was a baby. Cause I don't know who the fuck you are, so stop lying to me. You know, just the. Yeah, exactly. If I'm a, I'm a I am a bum ass like Destiny Two player. Fuck, be be honest, but no. It's just like I, my dad's funeral was the one that taught me the most about just how disingenuous people are and how funerals end up being a spectacle for no reason whatsoever. In fact, that just made me come up with a good idea. In my will, I'm going to put an invite list and invite people. Like when I die, they're going to send out invitations to people who I want there. You don't get an invitation, don't show up with my shit. Because I want to make sure that there's a goddamn bouncer at the door with a list for VIPs. Because I don't want people I know, like, come on. You, you know the people surrounding you who really don't give a fuck about you. Um, and who are just there because, you know, GP. I mean, that list would eliminate 75% of my family, which is fine. You know, it's fine. At this point, I really only want my brothers and sisters, like people who I vibe with, you know, people I vibe with on the internet, you know, people who, through different life situations, I've come to grow, like, really close to. Yeah. I don't need just, like, any random person showing up like, yeah, Mike was a great person and all that. No, like, whatever. So yeah, invitation list for funeral. That's the wave right now. Somebody got hit. Ooh, where? He's somewhere behind me. How you doing? Ah. Exactly. Like, I know the people who only call me when they need something. I know the people 
who've said the worst things, who've treated me the worst and all that. Yeah, no, don't, don't pretend now all of a sudden. Oh my God, I miss Mike. No, you don't miss Mike. You miss what Mike did for you. Get the fuck out of my face. And then I'm going to make a video wheel. Actually, that's another thing. I'm going to make a video clip and send it personally to each person who I think ain't shit on the day I die. And you're going to sit there. You're going to get this work. You're going to see that you ain't shit. God damn it. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Yeah. Mike started getting to work with on that soon. 